Hey guys, this is Dragon. You're watching Dragon Off-Road. Today I wanted to share how I revived this laptop battery. This is for an Asus C302. I just got it to take some notes in aircraft mechanic school, but it wouldn't charge. Uh, you'd plug it in and nothing would really happen. It would turn on, but as soon as you unplugged it, it the computer would die. There was no residual battery left to keep the computer alive. So the first thing I did was pull the tape off and I measured uh, the positive and negative, you need to figure out which one of these is positive and negative and label them. As such, there sh should be enough residual charge that you can see. These are at 0.9 volts uh, when I first started. And so if you see a negative when you're measuring, you want to swap your lead so you know which one is positive. And once you know that, I've already done a little bit of charging on these, so I got them up to 3 volts, but that still wasn't enough to register with the computer's charge controller. So we're going to turn on this inch power supply and I've got it set to about 4.2 volts and it's amp uh, limited to about 1.3 amps so we're not going to fry the battery with like 10 amps catch on fire not today and basically we're just gonna hold that when we're gonna charge both of these little batteries uh, with the bench power supply so you're gonna see the multimeter is showing us really the true voltage that we're getting the battery up to. There's some voltage rays, uh, so when you take away the leads, uh, that voltage is actually about 0.3 lower than what the battery will rest at without the voltage applied. And you just sit here and do this. Uh, I got mine up to 3.8 on another battery I bought that had the same issue. And I just put it in the computer and now it's charging like normal. It's up to about 20%, it says an hour to full. Uh, so basically you just have to get these cells higher than the 0% mark or thereabouts or else the charge controller won't even register them and it won't even try to charge the batteries. It's, this is not the case with all batteries, but with some of these laptop batteries, uh, that's how it works. You gotta keep them you know, topped off and these laptops sit around for long periods of time, so it's not uncommon for them to sit around and just deplete all their charge to the point where the charge controller is not even going to attempt to charge them up. And then you get the problem like I described where the uh, computer will die as soon as you unplug it. It doesn't have any battery capacity left because it's not charging the battery. So you kind of give it a little jump start. And in this case, I bought, brought both of these up to 3.8 volts using this method. And the other battery is working like a charm. I was going to do it to this one too, just to get it up to, you know, a stable voltage to where I can store it and have a spare for down the road. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with this battery. It may have lost some capacity from sitting at a, such a low voltage for a uh, long period of time. It's not really great for batteries, but it should have enough capacity to still be usable for, you know, a few hours at a time to take some notes and help me out in class. So yeah, be careful and uh, enjoy tinkering the batteries, I guess. This is something I've always loved doing, is bringing old things back to life. So if this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.